Hello, I'm Tony Duell, a U.S. Masters Swimming Level 2 coach, and I'm going to help you recognize when you might be making some common freestyle mistakes and help you fix them. Body rotation in freestyle is important, but over-rotating creates drag, throws off your timing and rhythm, and can cause your legs to compensate for the imbalance by separating or splaying. Your energy begins to go sideways instead of forward, which slows you down. Directing your energy forward reduces drag and allows for more speed and efficiency. To keep your energy going forward, keep your rotation at roughly 30 degrees particularly when you breathe. Because you're turning your head to breathe, over-rotating can occur. One element that helps control rotation is the entry of your hands, which should enter directly in front of your shoulders instead of crossing over your center line. Also, learn to rotate your shoulders, hips, and ankles as one unit stretching from your fingertips to your toes as you rotate. Use the belly button check to measure your rotation. That involves swimming down the center line of your lane and keeping your belly button from traveling much outside that wide center line, especially when you rotate to breathe. Finally, mentally connecting your armpit and hip on the same side and concentrating on shifting your weight from one armpit and hip to the other can also help curb over rotation. Lifting the top of your head to breathe in freestyle pushes your hips down and throws off your alignment. That creates drag, which eats up energy and can also affect your ability to get a good breath of air without swallowing water. Think of your head turning like you turn a doorknob. Turn only about a quarter of a turn. Your head creates a trough or bow wave when moving through the water, which is where you find your window to breathe. Your eyes look straight out to the side or just slightly backward, but never ahead of you. The arm lead balance drill can help you find the correct way to breathe. Push off the wall slightly balanced on one hip with the arm on that side extended out front and your other arm at your side. Your body should be rotated to about 30 degrees. You should look at the bottom of the pool until you breathe. When you need to breathe, push your extended arm out even farther and rotate your head and body that quarter turn. Take your breath and immediately return to the same position and continue the length in this fashion. Remember to look out to the side or slightly backward, not forward, when you breathe. If you swim freestyle breathing to both sides, do this drill to both sides. Dropping your lead arm or shoulder is a key factor in over-rotating and can lead to early fatigue in freestyle. If you allow your arm or shoulder to drop, you'll quickly find yourself off balance, which causes you to rotate even more for air. This also impacts your ability to get a good pull from that arm because it drops too deep to achieve a good catch. When you breathe, keep your lead arm extended out in front of you as a stabilizing force. Focus on what the lead arm is doing by connecting two body parts in your mind, your chin and the fingertips of your lead arm. One arm freestyle is a terrific exercise to work on both rotation and patience with the lead arm. Leave the non-stroking arm at your side and feel free to wear fins. Swim relaxed and breathe every stroke to the non-stroking shoulder. Work to feel the connection between the catch on your lead hand and your chin returning after your breath. Progress to some easy freestyle swims in which you leave your lead arm out in front until your chin begins to swivel back from taking your breath. Realistically, your lead arm will begin the action first, but work to keep the gap short. If your head position in freestyle is even just slightly out of alignment, there's a good chance your hips will be out of alignment and lead to a downward spiral. You'll end up swimming uphill, which creates significant drag, slows you down, and eats up your energy. Keep your eyes looking straight down or peeking just slightly forward. Use your lane line and pool bottom markings to know where you are. If others are in the lane with you, peek your eyes to find them instead of lifting your head. I hope this video will help you spot mistakes in your freestyle that you might be making. Please like and subscribe to our channel below. 
Once again, I'm Coach Tony Duell. Thank you for watching.